It is the first time we've seen the DA in months and comes following her resignation that is set to go into effect later on this month. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxer was inside of the courtroom today with what was said or rather not said. Carla. And in Natasia, definitely another eventful day at the courthouse as DA Yvonne Rosales walks into the courtroom, then proceeds to uh, swear in as a witness and then not answer any questions or in fact plead the Fifth Amendment to any question asked by the defense. On the advice of counsel, I plead the Fifth Amendment and assert my constitutional rights to remain silent. Rosales' attorney announced to Judge Medrano she would be invoking the fifth and that she should not take a stand to answer questions, calling it unethical, also pointing to the jury box where media is located, saying Judge Medrano allowing media to be here was meant to humiliate Rosales. Now, despite these objections, Rosales testified by invoking her right to remain silent. We spoke to Amanda Rodriguez, the original prosecutor for the Walmart case, who has been heavily criticized in the emails sent to the media allegedly coming from the DA's office, accusing Enriquez of wanting to move the trial to Austin. You're DA to be pleading the fifth. I, I think that speaks for itself. That in itself, is, I think, is powerful. Seeing that table empty, having prosecutors late, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that that, that is happening in our community, and that needs to change. Enriquez revealed she was called by George Alhanna, currently acting as DA before governor appoints a new one, saying Alhanna now offered her employment with the DA's office to work on the Walmart case, which she declined, saying she will wait for the governor's appo appointment. Now, as far as that gag order goes, or the breaking of that gag order, uh, Judge Sam Medrano did say that he will not be making that decision on whether or who actually actually uh, broke that gag order today. Back to you. Carla, so this whole issue with the gag order, is that ever going to get resolved? Do you know when Judge Medrano might be making the this decision? And have there been any other findings in today's hearing? Yes, Natasia, Judge Medrano did say that he will now be reviewing all those evidence, the testimonies. We had the Hoffmans. Also, we had uh, those audio tapes that were presented as well. So after he reviews all of that, he will be setting up another hearing to determine what exactly did happen with that gag order, who broke it. But as far as other findings go, I did mention these audio tapes. The state in yesterday's hearing uh, had their uh, witness, who was an expert witness. Uh, he's an audio analyst. And and the judge did make a finding today that his uh, his uh, testimony was not much uh, helpful or, or did not uh, persuade him into believing that these tapes were altered as the state claimed. Back to you. All right, our Carla Draxer following this story for us. She is live in the newsroom. Thank you, Carla.